Today is our New York Auto Show special, and as always, our resident mechanic will answer any car-related questions in our Ask a Mechanic segment. Lemonade is brought to you by Onvic, that's Ontario's vehicle sales regulator, and we're produced by the Automobile Protection Association. The APA fights for you, the consumer, and provides information and news on all parts of the industry. Visit our website at apa.ca or reach us by phone at 416-204-1444. Joining me today is Ron Corbett, he's a staff writer with the APA, and Chris Muir, he's a professor at Centennial College and our mechanic this evening. We'll be taking your calls, 888-764-3778. Welcome back, Ron. Must nice be, to be here. Must be auto show again if you're here. Yes, indeed. That's, that's, that's when I show up. Um, just I'm go, We'll get to New York in a yeah. second. Chris came in all crabby tonight. You know, it happened. Frankie, yeah. So Frankie? I, th I threw him my press car keys and he took off in it. Yeah. What were you driving? I was driving the brand new five liter Mustang and it was enough to make me smile. <laughs> <laughs> it still has that Mustang I want to kill you feel. <laughs> But it's all refined. <laughs> it's all refined. No, it's, uh, it's, it's a weapon. It's nice. It's beautiful. Yeah, it took me two hours to get here. It's a six-speed shift. Yeah. Nice. And I had to put on my kicker boots because oh. I, was, I was stuck in traffic all the way. That <laughs> clutch is so buttery, you know? Yeah, oh, know. so yeah, nice. It's not hours. like the old days. No. Oh, no. yeah, I remember that. Oh, Trying to learn yes, how to drive yes. on. Uh, clutch, the, clutch return springs? Yeah. Oh. But they, they've done a really, it's, it's got it's, a lot of giddy up. For a convertible <laughs> car, it's quiet, it's smooth, it doesn't rattle or squeak, it's yeah. very, very refined. And it goes like a bat in hell. That's the game mm. we play every week is what press car do I have? And then we see how many people want to fight to go for a drive yeah. in yeah. it. And I got to yeah. admit, some of them sit there for Lauren. <laughs> Nobody yes. cares. Yes. <laughs> And some of them, there's a lineup for the well, kids. Some, sometimes, I mean, they're about as exciting as um, white paint and yeah, cold well, tea. Yes. Well, yeah. That's it. That stretch wheelbase Trabant never really it didn't, compelled anyone. Didn't to quite go work. No. Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll move on to auto show now because apparently that's why we hauled you out here. So. Oh, really? You were down in New York. I, I was not because I only do Toronto. We all know it. Um, <laughs> what was new and exciting, new or exciting? And. Well, uh, lots of stuff. Um, it was an interesting show this year. Usually it's two action-packed days of, you know, exciting reveals. This this time was really one day. The first day was, was really exciting. Uh, the second day was kind of a bit of a snooze fest. But um, it, all the cars were there and all the cappuccino machines were going and, and the champagne and stuff. So, That's the way to your so heart. So that okay. was good. And uh, you were able to sort of check everything out um, that you didn't have a good look at the day before. So uh, I think we have some things lined up. We will cue them up, and when they pop up, you can tell us what up. it is that we're looking so, at. I think the first thing we were going to look at is the Toyota, call it FT4X. Oh, oh why can't they just call it something? That looks like a high-top running shoe. Now, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, it, it's, uh, Toyota has, has this thing called uh, the totally um, uh, the oh, new generation um, um, uh, architecture. And it's shared by the current um, CHR that just came out and the new Prius. So it's the same wheelbase, very similar dimensions. They didn't talk about power or anything, but it's going to be, you know, a typical thing. And, and well, uh, you know, this is this is supposed to be chasing the those so-called, you know, active millennials. They really have to not do that. It looks well, like a Cherokee. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was a Renegade re yeah, yeah, when yeah, I just yeah, got yeah. a first glance. You know, I'm sure it's a great vehicle but i always wonder when they do this kind of styling have they met these people that they're trying to pitch well, it to because well, i gave the, birth to those the, people the, the, and they, the, the, they don't want this is the thing right supposedly it can do everything it's a yeah. swiss army knife of cars okay. you know there's a narwhal cleaning station there's there's you know uh, a leisure leisure pods you know For when oh, you bring your narwhal yeah along? yeah exactly okay. and, and just just give it a repoint okay but, but anyway haven't they, they tried this over and over well, again well, well uh, uh, honda tried this about 15 years ago with the element, right? It was supposed to be for active millennials, yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. Well, the people who bought it, well, when it finally when it finally hit the market, were like middle-aged people with dogs and uh, antique collectors. Well, yeah, it's a piece of Lego. Well, well yeah, but yeah. It's, yeah. it's a big empty space, yeah. but the intended market, number one, didn't like it. Number two, couldn't afford it. Well, this is when all the manufacturers, I get not when they target two women and I'm going don't do that don't no. limit well, yourself well, I think Dodge had that thing that. in the 50s called the La Femme pink, yeah. it was like pink and they had you I've know written columns about the pink yeah, cars and exactly. stuff but whenever they, to me they narrow their margin it's like leave it see who wants it build yeah. a car see who it attracts yeah. and then go okay let's let's move okay. on to Subaru do we the have Subaru Crosstrek yes um, yeah, it well cool. it's, it's essentially um, it, it's, it's a, an amazing profit builder for them it's an Impreza hatchback Mm -hmm. But it, it's on stilts, and they put uh, body cladding on it, and they charge a couple of extra grand for it. Nice looking car, though. Well, it's fantastic. Yeah. And the inside of the current Impressa, the, the, the sedan and the hatch, 
It's very, very conservative, you know, very black, very gray. Mm -hmm. This is like some pretty wild, like, you know, metallic accents and really cool upholstery. So Subaru has lost its mind? <laughs> no, no, I, I, I think, I think, no, that's about it. Yeah. I, I think it, they certainly found their mind. And, uh, well, they're noted it, for their it, subdued interior. So. No, no, but, but this, this is really yeah, like, like cut, cutting edge. And, you know, it's based on the Impreza, so excellent, excellent space yeah. utilization and, you know, very practical car. And, you know, it's going to be typically safe and all the rest of it. Here we have the... the oh, the Clarity. The name winner. Yes. Um, from the show. It, well, sounds, so it sounds like... The Clarity. Well, the Clarity started off... What we're it, deciding, it, it sounds like spa music or a contact lens solution. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, my so, gosh. It's got it's got the wheel coverings of Fleetwood and the styling of a 96 Corolla. Well, actually... <laughs> oh, boy. I, can I, I not? With a colleague, and it reminded me of the Romanian-built old chip from the 80s. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was sort of a derivative of the Citroen Visa. Oh, of course. That's but, what but, I was going to say. It, like, it's not as attractive as the old chip. And it, I'm sure it'll catch <laughs> on just uh, as well in North America. It's not as attractive as the <laughs> but in, in Is this although, selling anywhere already? Like, is uh, it working for It's been them? out for about two years as a um, 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 hydrogen fuel cell. Oh, okay. So, okay, so that's six units a year. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> But now they're expanding the family, like like Toyota did with the yeah. Prius. There's going to be a plug-in hybrid, okay. uh, and there's also going to be a full electric. Now, only the plug-in hybrid is coming to Canada. Okay. It's going to have a range of about 70k in the plug-in, yeah. and then uh, it's got a, like a combined power unit of about 181 horsepower. It's quite a big car. It's like a core size. I, was say, I can't tell from. The and um, you know, very nice interior, very Honda. In including the infuriating uh, no button touch screen, mm -hmm. and um, it, it should be good, but it's going to be probably um, you know very uh, very low volume, Both and it's of really bizarre. Reading his notes. It, it's really bizarre because uh, I can give you a copy of your own. Yeah. Uh, the uh, uh, these <laughs> these cars are essentially, to me, meant as a PR exercise for the U.S. government because they have they had very stringent. Someone's uh, trying to send a message to that government. Uh, well, I, I guess, really? but, but but they they had. They had very stringent uh, <laughs> fuel good. regulations in the last administration, but of course now Trump is trying to dismantle them all. So no, the only car knows? he needs is a clown car. Perhaps we'll, we'll move along. <laughs> so anyway, it's going to be on sale by, by about Christmas. So. Okay. So there you go. Um, what's next? I think we, the, we the Grand Insanity. Oh, Grand Insanity. Uh, the Grand Cherokee Trackhawk. So Trackhawk? What happened to Trailhawk? Well, a Trailhawk is, uh, is something is, else. Trackhawk is... This is a go-fast? A very go-fast. 707 horsepower, supercharged V8. Because that's what you need your Jeep oh, to do. Well, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, re it's really good for, didn't, for getting didn't, out. Didn't Chrysler cost. try this with a Magnum RT? I mean, if you want to go fast wagon, why not just buy an all-wheel drive go fast wagon or, or an not AMG a... wagon or something? <laughs> well, but, but you're, you're, of course, you're, you're counter to the market because the market is obsessed by SUVs. Is so it, so yeah, we'll, we'll, you know we'll, ju we'll just it's, move it's, along. We, we can't even so, so anyway, the top speed, they, they actually had it on a double dynamometer. Um, Easy for you to say. We, we, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, so they actually ran, ran the vehicle in, in the venue. Mm -hmm. uh, the wheels were spinning. It, it, had, it had that data panel that's off to the side. And they show that it did 0 to 60 in like 3.5 seconds, a top speed of 180 miles an hour. And um, so that's Consumers that's pretty are fast. Idiots, aren't well, we? well, but you know, people nothing exceeds like excess, right? And and the SRT, which has been their their sort of go fastest model at the moment, mm -hmm. um, it's pushing about ninety grand. And um, how much is this one? Well, this this one that they haven't announced, but if the other one's ninety, this is probably going to be like one twenty. If you yeah. have to ask, you can't afford. Well, yeah, absolutely. The track yeah, but, but, but the, the <laughs> another issue is that. It's is like that, Vanderbilt um, is my mechanic. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> the, um, the SRT, when it first came out, there were delays up to about nine months, eight months getting it. And this is probably going to be, if you ordered one you know, in the fall when they come out, it'll probably take you a year to get it. But, and by then, you know. Well, we'll be yeah. on to something. Yeah, we'll be on to something. But, but you know, it, it's, it's really, Orange. it's a stupendous achievement, but, you know. I was talking uh, to my editor today about gas prices dictating how everyone is jumping mm -hmm. into the, like, the SUV segment is so stupid. It's like the other segments don't exist anymore. Oh. And, all, and he goes, what's it going to take for it to go? Yeah, yeah but, just but crash. I bought regular today. Great. It was a buck twenty. Well, so you, I, you know, I know it's it's th that's that, that's getting to me. That's well, that getting. Ford I've got is like just put the gas on the ground. That, that Ford you've got, I mean, it's, it's honestly it's a Sunday car. You'll make all the excuses for no, no, it's a Sunday car. Yeah, it's not a daily drive it into the city. You but can't. Canada has cheap gas prices. Yeah, worldwide. absolutely. So I mean, it, it's going to snap. 
mm -hmm. and all these huge, what, huge what, oversights. Was, no, was you it, can't talk anymore, okay, so okay. I turn to talk because oh, really? I'm going to go to break. Okay. The Lemonade Car Show brought to you by OMVIC, Ontario's mm -hmm. Motor Vehicle Sales Regulator, returns after this short break. When we come back, we'll be taking your calls, 888-764-3778. Mm -hmm.